Hey everybody, it's me, Dan DC with her violin. I can't ever say my fucking name right. Anyway, welcome! That's not at all what I meant to say. Listen, I have a brand new proposition for you. I'm a prostitute now. I officially now have a Patreon. I know, I know. Remember, just the beginning of last year, I said, um... My version of Patreon, because I can't stand Patreon. Well, it turns out apparently Patreon at some point, I think I mentioned this before at some point, uh, doesn't require exclusive content anymore, which is one of the main uh, things that maybe despise it so much, because, I mean, how... Fuck you. The original point of Patreon was literally as a source and a place for somebody to directly support a creator. And not expect anything extra special as a, as a result of donating. Like, it was literally just, you want to you wanna help a creator grow. You want to help them be able to improve their content over time and all of that. Then you can donate to their Patreon. You contribute to it. Um, you know, with whatever per a month. That's what being a patron was originally for. And then they added that. And then everybody started expecting this exclusive content. And they wouldn't want to support somebody if they didn't give it to them. It's like, this is old school classic... YouTube really type of concept, right? And creator, indie creator concept. It's it's the best way to get yourself, you know, if, if you want to support a creator, it's the best, di most direct way to support a creator creating their content with, you know, 5, 10, 25, whatever, a month, you know? Uh, so it's, if you really like the personality, you really like the content, then absolutely, please do go ahead and, of course, check out the content. Or rather, so contribute on the Patreon of that creator, obviously. Which, I guess, yeah, go check out the content and watching the leaving likes and comments and, and subscribing and sharing. The channel obviously, obviously helps, but that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a thing we definitely have never heard before in our lives, so you've just learned that. Anyway, so if you want to support yourself being a masochist and me putting everybody through extreme torture and pain. You you can contribute to my Patreon. It's linked down below. And go figure, the link is literally patreon.com forward slash the criminal violin. Who, who could have thought? Who would have imagined? Not me. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Patreon. Patreon. Pa pa Patreon. Pa pa Patronus Towers. Pa Stuff. Just go go do it if you want to support me directly rather than paying boo boo bucks for my Revival art. And then, by the way, in case anybody doesn't understand how Revival works, the reason why everything's so fucking expensive there isn't by my choice. It's because of the fact that they're a middleman. So what they do is you post your, your art, your graphic designs, your whatever, onto the website. You select what designs you want it to be able to be available on, and then what happens is any item that gets an order, they will then send that order, um, whatever item it is, to the manufacturer. This manufacturer then manufactures, obviously, and then they send it to a distributor. The distributor then distributes it to you. And so as a result, that means it's really steep in price because you get a cut, tiny little cut. You get a cut, then obviously Redbubble gets a cut, manufacturer gets a cut, and the distributor gets a cut. That's four different ple people that gotta get paid. So because of that, that's why it's so freaking steep. So I totally understand why people wouldn't want to do that. But also, here's kind of a bonus with the whole Patreon thing, right? Is the closer I can get to something like say 50 a month, uh, is I will, by that point, I will very much be looking into trying to start something like a Teespring store or something where basically it, I can have far lower prices, and it won't be as as ridiculous to for you guys to pay for it. At least from what I know, which is very little, but what, what I've picked up over the years, it doesn't seem like they take the same system, so it's not as, as steep of a price, because I'm pretty sure places like that actually literally also are the manufacturing distributor. So because of that, you're just splitting the bill with them. So of course, my Patreon, it helps me be able to further expand the content. It helps me eventually get to a point where I can either fairly consistently get a new game or DLC expansion pack or upgrade my PC. Um, there's a lot of different things like that. And of course, at the beginning of next year, I am planning on, that's where I'm aiming to officially start that second channel I had mentioned about a month, two months ago, where I want to be able to do, have a focus on transit, trip reports, and outdoor videos, namely fishing. 
I really want to be able to do that, um, specifically from the start of next year is kind of my aim. That said, to be able to focus on this channel and also on that, and also be able to still fairly consistently produce new uh, minimalistic graphic designs for my Redbubble store, and be able to create music all while finding time for myself, well, it would always help the more contribution I can get from Patronus. But, uh, yeah. So, feel free to support me on Patronus. Let's see how far we can take this thing, man. It's gonna be awesome. It helps me towards my ultimate goal as well. So, neat. Stay sexy, stay fluffy, kick life's ass, make it yo, bitch. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, <laughs>